Hey, welcome back to Summit Sunrise. Have a special treat in store for you this morning. Compliments of a rapper, Jason. Now, I'm here with Lee, who you might recognize because, uh, well, Lee, you are kind of one of the staples at Rapo Basin as far as telling us what's happening with the events every week and what's going on right now that we need to know about. Well, one important thing we need to know about is that we have a bonus pass for sale. Right? Okay. We've been selling that all season. And it's good at Arapahoe Basin all season long, which is, of course, open from October to June, so one of the longest seasons in North America. And then it also has five days that you can use at Keystone or Breckenridge, and one of those days at Baylor Beaver Creek. Okay. But the important thing to know about this is that the prices will go up on November 24th. Oh, man. So, just want to let everybody but you know if they don't have their bonus pass yet. Wait, November now. 24th or December 24th? I'm sorry, December 24th. Okay, okay. I wouldn't have caught that <laughs> December if I my 24th. birthday. I'm like, wait a second. No. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Yep. December 24th, okay. so right before Christmas. So okay, gotcha. So you can get that in before Christmas comes around. And this is this is a great idea. If you have friends or family that are coming into town uh, maybe in the spring to enjoy, you know, spring break, or maybe they're coming out for the 4th of July, and maybe they want to ski <laughs> on the 4th of July, um, um, it's such a value when it comes to this pass. I mean, if you just do a, little, do a little research, just do a little research and see what else is out there, and you're gonna be you're gonna be buying this pass right away. So um, you can get it right on the website. Is that the deal? Yep, right okay. on the website, or you can stop in um, our season pass office and get it right on site. All right, and it's easy to do. Yes. So definitely uh, one of the best ways to sample what we have here in Summit County and of course get some riding in over at Arapahoe Basin. Now you guys also are known I think within the ski industry as um, being such a fun place to ski and ride and also having employees yep. that are super fun and you kind of do things a little bit differently. So it seems like there's a, it's a little bit more relaxed. <laughs> You're always doing something that's kind of new or on the edge and today Lee you brought some gentlemen with you. Yes, yes. Tell I me, did. Uh, tell um, me what these guys Rick are up to. Rick and Kyle are here from our snow sports school. Okay. And they're going to demonstrate some things that they're going to do at their breaking at the basin camp that's going to be happening from December nineteenth to the twenty fourth. Okay. Right, guys? Four day clinic. Four, breaking four at day the clinic. basin. And they can describe that a little bit more, and they can demonstrate what they're going to do in this clinic. So Rick, oh. go ahead and talk All right. about that. I'm going to. Um, I want to think that we're going to break. Is, I'm uh, moving on over here with you intro kids. To park. You intro to, to park. For, okay. For the riders who want to take it to the next level. Okay. We, um, intro introduction park, so we want to help um, kids take it to the next level. Now, is it just kids, or can it be like me too? It can be for you as well. We can do okay. uh, one day right. drop-in classes as well. So. Okay, so this is good. So this is coming up. How do people get signed up for it? Um, they can go to our website, uh, okay. www.rappobasin.com. Okay, uh, all right. Or give us a call. All right, now, now Kyle... Um, I was noticing your skills here just a minute ago. Um, tell me what, okay, what, what's the deal with, with the balance board? Let's, let's explain. Can we have Kyle demonstrate while, while we yeah, explain to you on what the deal is? Um, it's not just on snow training, it's a lot of off snow training too, working on okay. your core. Okay. Working on core strength and ability as well and your balance, working All on right. body positioning. So we use the, the endo board. Um, if you notice back here, we've got a little shred stick. We just a shred stick? A little let's shred stick. We just made that out of a, um, an old ski, a skateboard, and some bindings. Okay. So that works as well. We have a bungee and a physio ball. Which, okay. You know, we stand on that, do some. Uh, oh, you stand on this. Well. Oh, we this do a lot of other things as well. You don't just typically do like, like <laughs> the crunches that you see in the videos. We do that, do that as well. Okay. So, some other exercises, you know. Main thing is to have a lot of fun with the kids too. So. Right. Now, just throw it around. Just kind of like balance, you know, and also confidence building. <clears throat> confidence building. Mm -hmm. I like that. If you're hopping on a pipe in the park, just like that, you know, on a board side. So this, mm -hmm. so the indoor boards are going to help with your balance, with getting in the pipe, with oh, getting yeah. in the park and things like that. Now I know also too um, you guys would probably be a good people to talk to come on over to the, the, the snow sports school and if you wanted to maybe get something like this to have at your home do some training maybe put that on your wish list for Christmas could be a great way to, to do that um, and so obviously you guys have been pretty inventive can we can we explain a little bit more about this guy here? sure would you call this the shred stick <laughs> yeah actually one of our what? friends invented it um, okay put it together so homemade ripstick right there <laughs> skateboard bindings okay. or actually the skateboard with the snowboard bindings on it and then we just got a, an old ski flipped upside down and it's nailed in there and this is definitely a big confidence booster right here big confidence booster it's oh. only about four inches off the ground so all know. right you guys you guys are giving me ideas for my uh yard park that <laughs> i plan on building um and then what's the deal with the bungee what's, what's uh this, this is just a bungee it's actually um somebody holds on one side or you can put it around a pole or a tree 
and it goes actually on your body, okay. on your chest, and then the other person can hold it, and you actually just jump out and work on different training exercises. Interesting. So it works on your fast switch muscles. Okay, fast so that might be better, fibers. like, yeah, if totally. you're planning on, like, launching yourself mm -hmm. off some jumps and things like that. Yeah, exactly. That would be important for that. Okay. All right, so this is, again, it's uh, as part of the training at the Ski and Snow Sports School over the Rapaho Basin. If you want to improve your park skills specifically, that's kind of what you guys are gearing this right. to. Mm -hmm. yep. All right, and the days are what, again? December 19th to 23rd or 24th. It's a four-day program. There's okay. also another one in February. Okay. Um, of course, like I said, it's four days, but you can also just drop in for one day if you, or two days if you wish. Okay. Cool. And so, and is there a certain age limit, age group? Can you only be like 82, not 84? <laughs> <How do> you... <laughs> uh, I believe right now it's from 6 to 12. I'm not positive on okay. that. Of course, it is for anyone. We also, you know, welcome you to drop in anytime. Uh, okay. And it's it not the cancer ski, clinics. Ski or snowboard. Too. Yeah. Ski or exactly. snowboard. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so, so. If you need to improve some skills, it uh, looks like these are the guys to talk to. And, uh, and beyond that, if they don't have a chance to be here during those days, um, I'm sure they can probably come on up and take some lessons from you guys. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. That works? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. yep. All right. Well, as we go to break, um, I think I think I need to work on my balance skills. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I, yeah, I'm gonna need some. I'm gonna need some help though. All right, we're gonna take a break, and we'll be back more at sunrise. Okay, so.